7 given a quadratic function where k is a constant is always negative and this one find the value of p and q always negative that means it never touch the x axis never touch x axis b square minus 4ac is smaller than 0 okay here fx is equal to 3 minus 4k minus k plus 3x minus x square to form this one we need to uh, we need to arrange it in general form ax square plus bx plus c so we know what is our a b and c to substitute inside the equation okay x square here bring it to the front negative x square this one is fx fx is equal to so negative x square here we have negative k plus 3x and this one is the one without x which is 3 is positive 3 minus 4 okay if you see this one a b c you if you don't even arrange it it's okay but then if you arrange in this way you can really see a is equal to negative 1 so this one is negative x square negative 1 b is equal to negative k plus 3 and c is equal to 3 minus 4 okay now we know that b square minus 4ac is smaller than 0. b square minus 4ac is smaller than 0. b is negative k plus 3 square minus 4a is negative 1. c is 3 minus 4. k smaller than 0. Negative square we get uh, positive. So we have k plus 3 square minus this one negative 4 times negative 1 we get 4 3 minus 4 k smaller than 0 k square 2 times 3 times k we get 6 k 3 square we get 9 4 times 3 we get 12 4 times negative 4 we get negative 16 k smaller than 0 this one is k square 6 k minus 16 k we get negative 10 k 9 plus 9 plus 12 we get 21 smaller than 0 now we can factorize 21 is 7 times 3 so to get negative 10 negative 7 k minus 7 k minus 3 or you can just use your calculator you see here this one is smaller than smaller than if you have smaller than smaller equal to or larger okay smaller smaller than that means the range is combined is larger than that means the range is separate so it is combined so k is in between you see here this one uh, smaller than without the equal sign okay and then so 7 we negative k minus 7 is equal to 0 k is equal to 7 k minus 3 is equal to 0 k is equal to 3 we have 3 and 7 the smaller here and then k is in between 3 to 7. The question asks, so you see here, P, K, Q. And what we have here is 3, K, 7. Which means P is equal to 3 and Q is equal to 7.